So hi and welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you how to put the lids, skins here, the DSP sheets onto the G-Pro wireless. If you want a full review, check out the link in the description because I've already done that on these. If you want to know where to download this template, check out my description. There is a link to Lizard Skins where you can download this template as well. So let's go on with this video, I'll show you how to install them, and then you can decide if you want to put some on or not. So once you've cut them out, you now can open the DSP sheets here. These are a bit thicker and a bit wider than the normal lizard tape you can buy for rackets, which is one of the reasons why they're slightly better for gaming mice. I use scissors at the moment. I've also tried them with a scalpel in the review video. So like I said, check that out to see which one you prefer to use. I prefer the scissors, but you might prefer a scalpel as well. So inside the DSP Lizard skins, you also get an instruction sheet here showing you what to do and which steps to do. You also get an alcoholic wipe here to wipe down the mouse if you've been using it especially to get any grease off so they stick to it very well. The only one I've had problems with is the XM1 where it left a bit of residue, but the other mice that I've put these on has been perfectly fine. If you do have problems with residue, you can use scotch tape, which is a good idea and that'll allow you then to put the scotch tape basically on the sticky back of the lizard tape here and then when you peel off the mouse it pulls off the scotch tape which doesn't leave a residue if you're having problems with the adhesive. This is what they look like close up. Come in a lot of colours these lizard tape, lizard skins. I prefer these ones for the texture. So what we need to do now is transfer these onto this sticky graph paper. And then we can transfer and stick that to the back of the lizard tape. This process does take a little bit of time. And then now we've done that, now we're going to transfer these onto the lizard tape and then we can cut them out again. I transfer it onto the grip side of the tape so that resembles the right rotation. So let's go ahead and put these on and then we've got to cut them out and then we're ready to stick them on the mouse. So this is what we have left. You could probably get another button out of it if you wear one out, maybe the left one or right one, but that's probably where you're gonna get out of it. Looking at that, there's not much left. This uses quite a bit. Um, so now let's put these on. One good thing about lizard tape is the stickiness is pretty good. So if you make a mistake here, putting it on, you can just keep peeling off. It's only a good few attempts before it starts to lose any of the residue stickiness. Put a little bit 
too high on this one here. You can just see that, fortunately. Could patch it over a little bit, but it'd be a little bit tricky now. See here, fits a bit nice on this corner. If you don't like the style that they've given you to cut out, the advantage is here that you can cut out as you wish, so I probably wouldn't go as far on the back here. But this template is making this go. Get a little bit of a kink on it. Maybe they're going to wrap around and meet at the back. That's going to require some precision cutting here, which I don't think I've pulled off today. Five mils thick. Yeah, it kind of wraps around the back, but I'm not, I'm not a fan of the way it wraps. I'd probably trim it a little bit shorter here, which get that flexibility. For me, I'd probably like cut it to like here and just cut it off. I want to show you lot the uh, full template. You can see mine's well hanging out a little bit. So that's it. The G Pro tape is on. It's 0.5 mils thick, so you can still get to the buttons. They are a little bit difficult to get, as they are with most grip tape here, but they are still pressable. Not a fond of the rear on these. I definitely trim them shorter. Like I say, I would trim them to like around here, probably around the back here, which I might do in a sec. It looks pretty good. But my mistake there at the top. So that's it. That's the G Pro Wireless with the Lizard Tape DPS skins here using their template. Obviously, you can cut them to however you like. That's what's good about the DPS sheets here. If you haven't already, check out my full review on I've done other mice like Death Adder, XM1, all the other mice. I'll be doing some more as well. And check out my other videos for Grip Tape. I've done True Grip Tape, I've done Hotlines, I've done a few of the other ones as well if you're not sure which tape to buy. So until the next video, I'll catch you soon. See you later. Bye bye.